Welcome to Burt Ridge Ways Learning for Life. This is lesson two, part two of Gold Slippers. And we are going to be teaching the course. Now in the verse, what we did last week is we took the course, I'm sorry, the verse, and we broke it down into very small bite-sized pieces. And I had you learn each of those pieces up to speed and then play them slow and then play them the medium speed and I so hope you did that. I hope you took that advice and tried it that way. We're going to do the same thing with the chorus. So we'll break it down, have you play each section. There will be different stopping points and you want to work on your speed getting that up. Hopefully again this is going to help you with your muscle memory so that you don't have to think about it. Your hands literally will start embellishing on their own doing different things. Trust me it works. So we're going to start on the third string. Uh, let me play the uh, verse for you so you remember. And, and actually, you should know it, and you should be able to play it. Then you repeat it. Now we're starting the chorus. You're going to hit the third string and you'll do a triple thumb. So third, fifth, and you can either hit the third again or the second. Let's do the second. I think it sounds better. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and just try to jump in. By the way, just doing this alone, forgetting the song, is going to teach you to do this triple thumbing very smoothly, just doing it over and over. Okay, so let's work on your speed. Try to get your speed up. Slow it way down. Finishing the phrase, you're going to play the first string, second fret, then open, third, second string open, third string open. So here's your first stopping point. I would not go any farther until you can do that. And you can play that at a pretty, pretty good clip and then slow it down and then medium. We're going to make an F chord. And our right hand is going to do the same exact thing. If in your drop thumbing you come down and hit the third, it's not going to matter. But let's focus on the second. And if you notice, your ring finger is already holding down your next note. You're going to play the first string at the third fret, then the second fret, second string open, uh, first string open, and then third string open. So you're just playing down the... Now, if you notice, I'm, I'm not taking the time. Uh, 
you want to slow that down. Play it with confidence. So again, I would stop. I wouldn't go any farther until you can do this. So let's put the first two together. So let's we'll just keep repeating that. Make sure you can play that. We're going to move on. Please don't move on if you can't, don't have that down yet. It's not a race. It's not about just learning songs. It's about learning to play the banjo. It's about teaching your hands to play. What you're going to do at this point is you're going to put, we've done this in the first phrase or in the first, uh, in the verse, you put your pointer finger on the second fret, second string, your ring finger on the fourth string, third fret. And I'm going to take you through this. You're going to play third, fifth, third. That's kind of hard a place to stop. You're going to lift up your pointer finger and play that second string. But you want to keep the ring finger down. Then put that pointer finger back down and you're hitting that second string, second fret. actually go a little farther because you got another triple thumb. So again, you're hitting the third string, fifth, third, lift up the pointer, hit the second string open. Then put it back down on the two. Let's play it from the beginning. Then the second string open. Do a triple thumb. back down on two and then you're going to do the first string at the second fret. There's something else you could do here. Which is hit the first string and do a hammer on. So again, which is a little bit easier. If you want to be fancier, you can do both. Do a hammer on on the second. Again, as you memorize this, as you play this, you're gonna start your fingers are gonna start switching back between those two, and you won't even think about it. So from the beginning. Make sure you can play that very, very slow. And 
and then up to speed. One thing you might notice that I'm doing is when I'm doing that triple thumb, sometimes I'm brushing on the first strum. In other words, it's not with your thumb. Instead of playing hesitation, I'm going and making it a double thumb. And I'm actually using the back of the nail, not the tip, and I'm doing it very softly. I am very sparing on strumming. A lot of people do this. And it almost sounds like Dixieland. Uh, I'm very sparing when I do it, and I do it very softly, but just so you can hear it better. Let's see, I'll do it on the chorus. Um, sorry. So you can play with that. The song now starts over, so please don't go any farther until you have that first part down. You're gonna do a lot of repetition here. It starts the same way. We already played that. That's how the song starts, so you're just repeating it. This is where it's gonna switch, but we already played this. already done that and then here's where it switches completely just three two open second string we can make that a little fancier you could go so I went three two hesitation dropping to the second I put my pointer finger down on three and did a pull off to open. So let's play it all the way from the beginning. I'm going to play it sort of up to speed so you can hear how it flows together. I am going to give you a practice track, uh, relatively more slow, that you could work on uh, for this week and get the verse and the chorus done together. It'll go three times through, and hopefully you'll be able to master this. Next week, we'll put the chords with it and show you a few different things there as well. I hope you're enjoying these lessons. Uh, if you don't know this, I do have some claw hammer tab books um, that you might be interested. I also have a CD uh, called Full Circle, and uh, it's 100% banjo. In other words, you'll hear a bass sound in it. It's not a bass, it's a cello banjo. So everything in it, accompaniment, backup, everything is 100% different banjos put together, and that's called Full Circle. That is also on our website with the books. It's just some things that you may be interested in. Thank you, patrons, for your giving, for your support. If you're watching these lessons, if you're learning from these lessons, uh, there, it's because there are those who are giving so that you can have that privilege. There are those who are giving to support this work. And their help and your help is definitely and desperately needed uh, to keep this program going on. Uh, I've been doing this for going on three years now. 
and uh, it's, it's just getting where it's starting to work. Uh, but we do need your help as far as uh, supporting this work. So thank you so much to those who do and to those who may. And we will see you next week. I'm going to bid you adieu at this point, but you're going to have a practice track after this. But I'm going to say goodbye at this point. Uh, have fun with this lesson, and we will see you next week. God bless. Here we go. You're going to have a three beat count in and then your pickup notes. Here we go. <laughs>